It's been a few weeks since the Overlord escaped us, and we need to find him before he strikes. Jay and I are out here in the Desert of Doom, and we haven't found anything resembling the Overlord. I think we're just wasting our time with this search. I'm kind of with Cole on this one. I know that you're still upset that the Overlord escaped your mind prison last Christmas, but we haven't found a single clue about his whereabouts ever since. Not to mention, we need more assistance. Too bad Zane and Pixel are living in the Never Realm until Zane thinks it's time to come home. What about Kai? What has he been up to? <laughs> After what happened recently, I thought it would be a good idea for him to take a break. So you basically suspended him? No, no, he's not suspended. I just thought it would be good for him to do other things for a while because he caused some disorder with how Zane was feeling. What about Nia? She and Vanessa have been trying to help Akita feel more at home with us ever since she joined our team. More like an excuse for female bonding time. I'd rather be stuck in a video game instead of talking about makeup products for an hour. Be careful what you wish for, Cole. It just might come true. We'll see about that. Yum. Uh, where did you find that hot dog? And why is it green? I kept it with me ever since Master Wu was turned into an evil cyborg. That was about five to six years ago. You're insane. Anyway, since the Overlord's not here, I guess we might as well go home. Uh, he does realize that he's going the opposite direction of home, right? Yeah, I should probably let him know. Hey Nia, it's starting to get cold again. I'm a little tired of using my water powers, Vanessa. Also, if Kai was still here, he could just heat it up for us. Well, whether the tub is hot or not, I'm just glad I'm able to experience this with my new friends. Well, Akita, it's really nice to have you on the team. Alright, I think that's enough for right now. My fur is really wet, and I need to dry it off. So, how have you and Jay been doing? We have been doing very well. Yesterday, he gave me a teddy bear. That's nice. Yeah, I just feel a little unsure about our relationship, though. I think it's getting in the way of my true potential. I used to feel like that too, until I cheated on him for Cole, which I regretted for a while, but seeing you happy makes me happy. It's just, I want to be able to figure out who I should become if I'm going to be a team player, and what my goals should be as well. I joined the ninja team mostly because of my brother. Wait, that wasn't your decision? Our father died, so my brother Chuck took care of me and thought we would be safer if we could learn to protect ourselves. Then he died, I broke up with Jay, joined the silent service, got back with Jay, and the silent service collapsed. I feel confident that I want to be a ninja, but one reason why I'm here is because of Jay. He cares and protects me like what Chuck did, but it's different. Honestly, if you think he's becoming a problem on who you could be rather than who you should be with, then maybe you two need distance. I'll think about it. I don't want to do anything dramatic just yet. Hey Akita, how do you like living here? It's definitely colder than my last home. Yeah, too bad Zane and Pixel live there now, but I'm sure they'll be fine with it since they're both robots. So, what are you doing? Well, since we aren't fighting anymore, I got a job as a newspaper delivery boy. I know that no one reads newspapers anymore since we have social media, but at least it's productive and pays well. Also, I've been talking with Lloyd, and turns out he's not interested in a relationship. Oh no! Yeah, it turns out he's still upset with what happened with his last girlfriend, so he doesn't want to risk anything similar. Well, I guess he's probably too busy for one anyway. It's fine. At least I have great friends. Okay, I gotta go before I'm late, so see ya. Yeah, bye. Well, I guess that was a waste. Honestly, I think I'm done searching for someone who obviously doesn't want to be found. I'm tired too. I want to help since not everyone is committed, but what's the point if nothing gets accomplished? You all might want to rethink quitting. I just had a smoke vision. Someone or something is appearing out of a vortex at the Caves of Despair in one hour. It could be the time rift that Yang created a few years ago. He was working with other villains to open it to get rid of us, but we ended up pushing them in. I remember that, because I was there. Also, I encountered Pythor a while ago, and he must have returned from being lost in time. So it must be another villain that's coming out. Well, we have to catch him before he escapes and plans his revenge. Then it's settled. Lloyd, I hope Miley Board rebuild your golden mech in times like these. We cannot stand any chances if we let this slide. I also still have my golden powers, so this should be enough to finish the job. I can help too. I have powers that can help us win. 
Uh, Vanessa, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? You might need all the help you can get to- Can we talk privately? Why do you always do this? I want to be more in this team than just stand around as some kind of cheerleader. I'm trying to protect you! Being a ninja isn't something that anyone can just randomly become. It takes skill and practice before figuring it out. That's what I've been doing ever since you all knew me. And I've even discovered new skills since my return to this team. The Staff of Shadows shouldn't be an excuse to pass through problems. I may be the Elemental Master of Lightning, but that's because I had to earn it. Elemental power is something different than fighting as a ninja. I've been practicing and understanding its power and how it can help us in battle. It may be dangerous and dark, but that doesn't mean it's going to be against us. Just give me a chance. <sighs> I'm just scared that something will happen to you. I lost Nia, and I don't want to lose you for something else. If you really care about us, you need to let there be risks so we can develop more is more than just a burden on each other. Wow, I never thought of it like that. You won't lose me, Jay. I promise. That's what Nia said a long time ago. Don't mind us, we're just waiting for you lovebirds to be done so we can get going. This is where my smoke vision told me it would happen. So, someone's gonna appear at these caves? I also brought an elemental weapon just to get this over with. Wait, where did you even get that from? I thought you said those weapons... Alright, enough talking. At any second is when the rift will open. So, this is the future. Not much has changed. Kozu? That's who we're dealing with? Oh, this won't take long at all. I'd be careful if I were you. Ah, oh, Blue Ninja. You definitely look a lot more different than the last time I saw you. It's good to see you too, buddy, but too bad the reunion won't last that long. Ugh. Ah, that was easy. Ugh. What? I thought we saw the last of those guys. Looks like this is gonna be a lot tougher than we thought. Haha. <laughs> This is quite the reunion to remember. Like Jay said, too bad it's not gonna last very long. Uh, do you guys need any help? Yeah, some help would be nice. Whoa. Bye bye, blockheads. What? Why Why didn't it work? Ah, oh, the Staff of Shadows. One thing I learned about in my time-traveling expedition is that if your heart is pure, then once you start wielding the weapon, eventually it will run out of energy for you to use. Another thing you probably should have known. Crystals forged in the underworld like yours are very explosive when they're damaged. They create you. Ah, that was rough. Are you guys okay? I'm fine, but I'm surprised I was knocked out even with my golden power. Yeah, and I think General Kozu and those stone warriors got away. Not to mention Master Wu seems to be missing, but at least Vanessa is. <gasps> No, 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 no! I guess she was too close to the explosion, and the staff is destroyed. Her, her heart's not beating. My girlfriend, our teammate, I think she's... You don't need to say it. We know. Vanessa's dead, and Master Wu's missing? I'm guessing those stone warriors must have taken him. Why would they want Master Wu, though? What does he have to offer them? No, maybe Vanessa, why did this again? have to happen? Or maybe he's using Wu as a hostage for some reason. What do you think, Jay? Jay? Come on, Jay. We don't need to lose you too. Let him go, Cole. He just lost someone very important in his life. He'll come back to us when he's ready. Ah, uh, Jay. It's been a while since I last saw you. Hey Wyatt, I've been busy lately, so I haven't been coming to the arcade as much. Is it still open, by the way? Of course, my friend. I haven't closed it yet, so come on in. That's weird. There's usually more people in here at this hour. Well, where'd they all go? Oh yeah, some players have been disappearing lately, and a lot of people believe that it has something to do with our newest game. Though it's totally a rumor that someone made up on the internet. Did, did you say new game? 
Yeah, it was released in my arcade a few days ago. It's called Prime Empire. I hope it's any good. I feel convinced already by the title. Wow, those are the biggest playing machines I've ever seen! These arcade pods were delivered from another island recently. Basically, to play the game, just choose an avatar, press start, and everything should be good. Cool! I'm looking forward to playing Prime Empire. Sounds exactly like the thing I need to get over my recent situation. I couldn't hear what you just said, but okay, have fun. I'm going to go close up the arcade in 10 minutes. Alright, I've chosen my avatar. Now all I need to do is to press start. Wait, what have I done?! Greetings, newcomer. Welcome to my world. <laughs>